Today I'm going to show you guys how to color, brighten, and sharpen these things in Photoshop. By these things I mean your eyeballs. Hey guys and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace and you can find us on Twitter at Flurn where you guys can ask us all kinds of questions about Photoshop, photography, anything you guys want. We've had a lot of comments lately about eyes, like how to color them and sharpen them and how to just really take them to the next level. So we decided to dedicate this whole episode just to eyes. I'm going to show you guys how to color these eyes, how to lighten the inside and darken the outside, as well as sharpen the eyes to make them really, really stand out. This is going to be an awesome episode. It won't take too long and you can use it on every single portrait you take for the rest of your life. So here's our image today. I really like this image. It was submitted to our contest uh, last week for an outdoor portrait and uh, I, it's just really killer. It's a World War II reenactment. If you guys want us to edit your images on Flurn, all you have to do is enter in one of our contests. We have them every single week on Flurn.com, so you can go there and check it out right now. What we're going to do, let's go ahead and zoom in and um, the eyes are actually they're really nice. They're in focus, they're, they are interesting eyes and everything like that, but I do think they could be brought out quite a bit more. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to create a new layer and we're going to start by zooming in and kind of like looking at what the eye already has. So I'm going to give you a little uh, a kind of a cool tool to analyze the eye and uh, this will just help you with whatever you're doing. So most eyes you have a couple different areas. You, you have like your inner eye shape which is you know right right over there. Your inner eye shape or color and in this case it's kind of like a yellow color right? All right and then we have this color which is like a blue slash green and it's desaturated. So I don't really want to change these eyes like the colors totally. I want to take the colors that already exist in the eyes and kind of bring that up. The next thing I'm looking at here is our light source. Here we go. And the light source is coming from the top left. You can kind of see that is the reflection in, in the eye. Now when that happens, light enters the eye and kind of like bounces around and then it bounces out of the other side of the eye. So when you're lightening an eye, make sure to do it here in the opposite area as the light source. So if the light source is over here and you can see that reflection in their eye, light in this area. If it were over here, you'd want to lighten this area on the other side there. So that's just a little lesson on how to lighten and work with eyes. So let's go ahead and make that invisible and we're going to zoom out and I'm going to show you guys how to get some colors together and uh, actually draw these eyes in. So I'm going to grab my brush tool, B for the brush tool, and then hold Alt or Option and I'm going to sample right there where that eye is. Okay, right there. Now, so that's going to give me a pretty good base color to work with. Now I'm going to click here and I'm kind of just going to exaggerate it. I'm just going to go way up over there. Okay, so I took the color that it already was and just made it lighter and more saturated. There we go. And now with my regular brush, and I'm just going to choose like, you know, just a regular soft edge brush in Photoshop. There we go. Something like that. And make the hardness about 90%. Okay, looking good. And I'm just going to paint with this color right on a new layer. So something like this. And you can zoom in or out if you want to do this. And I'm making kind of like a random pattern over here. So we're going to do that one. And we're going to do this one at the same time. Okay, notice I'm just not, I'm not just painting like a general blur. Um, this is actually going to help give the eyes like shape and color as well. So I don't want to just like grab the soft edge brush and just hit it because we're actually going to be able to add detail to this, to this eye, which is really cool. Okay, there are a couple more steps to make this obviously look good, but I'm going to do all my colors first. So we're going to create another layer. And now I'm going to grab this color here. So B for the brush tool and then hold Alt or Option and I'm going to grab this color. And then we're going to go ahead and exaggerate this one. Okay, so this is now this like greenish color here. And notice again, I'm trying to stay mostly on the other side of where that, where that highlight is there. Okay, I really don't need to add a lot of information up towards the top. Mostly we want this visible towards the bottom. Okay, there we go. So a couple colors from there. And then, you know what, For just for fun, for, I'm going to create a new layer and we're going to add like a nice light blue to this too. Because just a couple specks of this blue, I think it's going to make it really interesting. All right, so this is the big tip, guys. When you're going to be editing eyes like this, like don't just stick with one color because eyes often have multiple colors. Okay, so now we look like that and it looks horrible, but it won't for long. So what we're going to do, I'm going to shift click the three of those layers and I'm going to change their layers. You can either go to soft light or you can go to overlay. Okay, soft light or overlay, both are going to do it. And you can see already it looks much, much better. So let's start off here and we can see this needs a little bit of a blur because it's just not looking, it's not looking you know, kind of, you can see where I drew basically. 
So we're going to go to filter, blur, and then Gaussian blur. And then just give this a small blur, something, you know, like a one or, you know, one pixel blur or something like that. You just want enough blur to where it doesn't look like you did it in Photoshop, but you still want to get some of the, like, the edges and things like that. All right, let's do the same thing over here. We'll just give that a little bit of a blur. And then the same thing for this one here. We'll give that a little bit of a blur. This, because it is that blue, maybe we'll give it a little bit more blur. Blur. Okay, very cool. So you can already see just with my coloring, there's quite a big difference in the eyes. But we're not done yet. We're actually going to be doing quite a bit more. And the, the really nice part is because we did add those other colors. If you just grabbed over here and like hit curves adjustment and just like added more green, it would look nothing like this. So that's, that's a big tip. So we're going to shift click all those layers and hit command G to group them together. So there's our color. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to shape them a little bit with brightness. So now I am going to grab a curves adjustment layer. So we're going to grab a curves adjustment layer, click here right in the center and just bring that up a little bit. Okay, let's hit command I to invert that layer mask. Just make it black. And now I'm going to paint with white right over here. There we go. Kind of focus on the center of the eye. You see where I'm painting right there? It's the center between that black part and that black part. I don't know. I'm not an eyeologist. I don't know what it's called. Anyway, that's where we want to paint right there in the middle. Because remember, round, eyes are round, right? They're not, they're not totally flat. All right. And um, just for the record, I, I know that eyeologist is not a real word also. <laughs> okay. Let's, uh, let's give that a little bit of a blur as well. Okay. So that's getting a little bit brighter there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to a curves adjustment layer and we're going to make this a little bit darker. Something like that. Hit command I on there. And then I'm going to paint this right down in there. All right. So what these are two doing, let's just group those together. These are just giving the eye a little bit more shape and depth. Check this out. Okay. So that really, really nice shape and depth that's, it, it took almost no time to do it. And um, just focus the lighter area right inside here and then the dark, darker areas right under it. And I'm focusing on the right side again because our highlight is on the left side. If, the, if it was lit from the other side, I would be filling in the opposing side there. Okay. And now for our last step, you can sharpen your eyes up. And you can do this in a number of ways. There's, there are a million ways to sharpen. If you guys want to find out more about sharpening, just type in sharpen at learn.com or here on our YouTube channel. Um, we have a lot of different methods for this. But for this method, I'm actually going to use the sharpen tool because I almost never use it and you guys might not even know it exists. So I'm, we're going to use it. It's right over here. It's nested with the blur tool, sharpen tool, and the smudge tool. So I'm going to go to my sharpen tool. I'm on a new layer. So we have to make sure I click sample all layers. Okay. And that's just going to make sure I can actually paint on a new layer. We do want to hit protect detail and our mode we're going to keep on normal for this. So I'm going to just zoom out. This is about 100% zoom here. And we're going to paint right over here. Make sure you get like the eyelids. Anywhere you see these like little white areas and things like that. Those are really nice. Now with the sharpen tool you want to avoid places like you know the whites of the eyes. Um, you want to avoid over sharpening those things. But eyelashes, you want to get those. You want to get, you know, a little bit here on the on the brow and whatnot, just for fun. And any type of highlight, like here in the inner eye, especially, you want to get get those. All right. So turning that off and on, you can see how nice that is for the sharpening. And sometimes I'll even like grab a lip as well, and maybe a little a little bit of facial hair. And that'll just make it seem like it's not just the eyes that are sharpened. It's like, wow, you really got that in focus. Good job. But no, we actually just used the sharpen tool. All right. So that is how we color these eyes. And this is, if it's a little bit too extreme, not a big deal. You have your, um, you have your layers here. Oh, you know what? I don't like that sharpen method because if you have that sharpen method, I can't change the opacity here because this basically creates like a, a vi stamp visible of whatever you're sharpening. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm going to show you a different sharpening method that I usually use. I just wanted to show you the sharpen tool. Ha ha ha, pretend that didn't happen. Now, this is actually really cool. Now you learn two sharpening methods. Okay, so our other one is we're going to create a stamp visible layer. So shift option command N for new layer, shift option command E, that will make a stamp visible layer. Then we're going to desaturate this because we're going to change the blending mode to overlay and I don't want it to affect my colors. So shift command U is going to desaturate it. Now we're going to go to overlay. Okay. And it doesn't look good yet, but I promise you we'll soon. We're going to go to filter, 
other, and then we're going to go to high pass. Okay, and now you can choose your radius of how sharp you'd like your image. A lower radius will give you less sharp, higher radius will give you more sharp, and much higher will give you something that looks like crap, so don't do that. All right, let's just choose there. You can see that's nice and sharp, and now we'll just use a layer mask to make this visible where the eyes are. Okay, same just like we did before, but this layer we can actually turn on. We'll do it on the lips and a little bit on the cheeks and things like that too, right there as well. Okay, so now we see our image is nice and sharpened through this layer. We've got the light and the dark through this layer and the color through this layer. So if there's anything you want to adjust after the fact, like if it's too much color, just take this whole group and lower the opacity of the group and you're looking pretty good. So really pretty easy and you can do this with any image and it's going to make eyes look amazing. So let's just look at the before and the after. And that is noteworthy enough to have people comment on your Flickr, your Behance and go like, wow, amazing eyes. Where did you learn that? And you'll be like, flir.com, of course, because they teach me how to do stuff like this. Anyway, that's the end of the video, guys. Awesome way to do some eyes in Photoshop. We created this episode because a lot of people were asking about eyes. So if you guys have any other questions or anything you'd like to learn, leave us in a comment right down below. Here on YouTube, just say, hey, Aaron, I want to learn how to do this and this and this. Here's a link to a photo that I want to make my images look like, things like that. And we'll look at those, and then we can create episodes for you on just exactly what you want to learn. So that's it, guys. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, please, so you can get more of these. Just comment and share with all of your friends. Thanks again, and we'll learn you later. Bye, everyone. I want this to happen to my eyes in real life. I think it might be scary. Have you seen that guy with the amazing eyes? Oh.